part a the first loop rule is obtained from kulkirchhoff loop rule that states that the sum of the potential difference across the loop must be equals to zero what does it mean that the sum of potential difference across the loop must be zero therefore the first loop equation is given by where r2 by r3 is equals to r2 r3 divided by r2 plus r3 which is the total resistance of two parallel resistance resistors the second loop equation is i2 r2 is equals to i3 r3 which is equals to minus of i1 r1 this is the second loop equation now kirchhoff junction rule states that the current entering a junction must be equals to the current existing the junction okay so from here we got current entering the junction must be equals to the current ex exiting the junction applying the rule of the junction in the circuit we get the junction rule where i1 is equals to i2 plus i3 now to find the current in each part of the circuit we find the total resistance of the circuit as following total resistance we will denote it by rt is equals to r1 plus r2 by r3 which is equals to 0 plus 18 multiply by 9 divided by 18 plus 9 we get 6 ohms now we find the total current in the circuit which is i t is equals to total current e by r t which is equals to 60 by 6 is equals to 10 ampere this means that the current crossing r1 is i r1 is 10 to find the current through r2 and r3 we must calculate the voltage across the loop by using the Kirchhoff first, lo first loop rule as following v, v loop is equals to minus e v r1 which is equals to 60 minus i t r1 which is nothing but 60 volt since r1 and r2 are parallel therefore they are on the same voltage okay they are of the same voltage the current across R2 is equals to the current across R2 is equals to I R2 which is 60 upon 18 so we get 3.33 ampere and the current across R3 is equals to R3 I T minus I R2 which is equals to 6.66 ampere.